Welcome to another Ref Show. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know it's a recurring theme. Simulation, diving, cheating, call it what you will. Yet again, we lead with it this week. And what on earth eventually are the FA going to do about it? OK, they banned a player or two lower leagues. An incident this weekend that perhaps you'll know by the time we, uh, you watch this show, whether the FA have reacted or not, occurred in the Premier League over the weekend. Nias. Mark Lawrenson mm. uh, for Everton at uh, Crystal Palace to win a crucial penalty. Should the FA act? Yes, absolutely, definitely, yes. I can't see why there's a, a, that's a question of would you. It's just a, yeah, of course he dived. The cheating. Keith? Oh, I'm, I'm for it. I, th I think that any area where a, refer a player goes down easily, then the panel of experts that they've, they've put together should just have a, an overview. Let's look at them all mm. uh, and, then, and then come up with judgments. We've got to get it out of the game because it's making the game, in terms of the image, not right. There's a problem here, perhaps intrinsic, in the nature of the panel because it's a former referee, it's a former player, it's a former manager. And all three, Loro, have got mm -hmm. to agree to bring... A case. Well, that's that's daft then, isn't it? Why can't it just be majority? Two to two, one. Two to one. What what is a pop? It's like having seven judges have all got to agree. I mean, that's just it's just ridiculous. But then, are we are we really thinking it's really well organised? No. Who came up with that? Mm. Whose idea was all three? Well, it's the kind of the FA hamper themselves by creating this barrier, don't they? By it's like, we'll bring this, this rule out, but you know what? We'll just soften it a little. We'll just do it, for goodness sake. Absolutely. Absolutely. The referee's going to say every time, hey, that's a, a con job. Yeah. But you might get one of the other two, either the ex-player or ex-manager. The ex-manager's an ex-player who's going to say, yeah, but there was a degree of contact there. Well, there was a little, little bit, wasn't In the there? size of the ass. We've seen yes. I saw him the other week, I was at Sunderland, when Sunderland played him, he's like, he's a monster. So he goes down quite deliberately and of his own volition. The, the other, well, the big mystery there is, from what looks a fantastic viewing position, Anthony Taylor in that 2-2 draw somehow is the only one who doesn't see mm. that it's a draw. How, how, how was I that don't know, happen? he's not giving himself sufficient thinking time. Mm. Easy to sit here behind a desk and, and criticise, but those are big calls, and big calls have to be... Uh, have to be right and accurate mm. and and for me i i think it, it was an easy judgment that it was a dive yeah. you know there's this there's this argument that comes through this contact well there can be contact but and simulation yeah. i think we've got to get that one over because there's players who drag out that leg yeah who, to, who attempt to manufacture contact mm. they move slightly to the left knowing full well that what they're going to do is dive to the right yeah with it with a touch so you know, this is where I think we've got to rely on the panel. Mark's exactly right. 2-1 should be the judgment. Mm. And we mm. should have the faith in players and managers. Mm. Because if they have any inkling that they support the game, we've got to get this out of the game. Yeah, you don't the, hear well, it, do you? No, the other thing, sorry, I'll cut in. The yeah. other thing is, and if you're, if you're the referee watching that incident from behind, and as Keith says, when they, they sort of lean to the left and then they go over, it's very, very, you think, oh, he's been caught. Mm. It's your first thing, he's been caught, and unless you're yeah. really close, it's tough. Yeah, but this did look an obvious one, and it would be nice. A week ago, we had an incident involving a Peterborough player, Marcus Madison, and I kept looking oh, at yeah, local yeah. sites around Peterborough yeah. to see if the manager, Grant McCann, was going to condemn this guy. All he said was he didn't see the incidents. No. Mind you, he's his best player as well, isn't he? Yes. He's his best player, but that yeah. shouldn't matter. I no, mean, it shouldn't matter, but it, it does it, matter. Every manager <laughs> should agree well, on this but one. Roy Hodgson was good, though, wasn't he? Roy about Hodgson. the penalty. He and accepted it, didn't well, he? Well, he said, he, said he said, we don't think it was a penalty. So the referee gave it, it's a penalty, and on we go. He did, he did say that. Which it doesn't was, really help the cause in many ways, but he's really. quite honest about it. But it was up to the David Unsworth, I suppose. But then again, he's, he's won a point, a crucial point, and he's through a penalty. So if he comes out and condemns the player, he's almost like devaluing the point, isn't he, that he's got. Yeah. So it's a difficult one. Yeah. The reality, yeah. Alan, is the FA's current code, if you like, of when to come in on these is, is, is fraught with problems. It's flawed. It, it's flawed, and therefore yeah. they need to re revisit it because at the moment you'll get no well you'll get the odd one mm. uh, fine but don't not even look at them wait, it, wait till it happens in a monster game 
Yeah. yeah, but of course this is a Premier League show. But they may have proved this wrong by the time you watch this. Uh, this guy, Nate, Nate Asp, may well have been charged. You never know, and that would be a pleasant surprise, I think. I won't be taking money on it. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> uh, a weekend of quite high-profile errors, many of them. Uh, Leicester nil, Manchester City 2. Graham Scott, who you've been champion, Keith, for yeah. more Premier League games here. This was Vincent Company, only a yellow card for halting Jamie Vardy flowing in on goal very early on. I thought right. it was an easy judgment, easy call. Uh, you know, he is a rookie ref as far as the Premier League is concerned, mm. and I don't think he was switched on. It happened so quickly, start of the game. Mm. I don't think he was quite alive to it. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was a clear denial of an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. I don't think, even though you've got John Stones, who wouldn't have caught him, Keith. wouldn't have got him. Wouldn't have caught Valdi. Therefore, he's, no. he's no, absolutely. Therefore. It's it's a it's a bad call. Yeah, company should have gone. Slam dunk. Regardless of who the player is, because you could argue even if it had been a car toss there, you should apply the same thinking. He's facing goal. He's got to yeah. run on goal. Yeah. Um, he's going to have a shot on goal. He's going to have yeah. a shot on goal. So. And he won't, you know, won't oh, it's really really early. Well, not manner, does it? First, no. second, or no. last? It mean well, it that goes. brings us to another one. So that was two minutes. This is we're talking a matter of seconds in uh, David Moyes' losing start as West Ham manager two nil at Watford. Now Andy Carroll in this game with the elbow very early on. Keith <laughs> debate over this. Now he didn't get a card of any colour uh, actually. Yellow, red, or no card? Your your call. Yellow. Yellow. Well, I, I'm definite yellow because yeah. I, I think that when you make these judgments and they're very difficult when you're out in the middle, mm. we, know, we look at the, the bent, if you like, arm and the clenched fist. And that, in fact, is giving you more power, believe it or not, than a flat arm. Here it was not as bent. It was out. Yeah, but he knew, he, you know, he knew what he was doing. I mean, this is a, he's a serial offender. And that's what surprised me about Andre Mariner. He's a very experienced referee. You do your own work. You know the players are out on the field. He knows that he's coming back. He might be frustrated. Therefore, when he kicks off, just get into the zone to mm. be in a good position to judge. Mm. And he, he wasn't. I think he was still messing around with his heart monitor, his stop watching there various a, other things. There is a lot for referees to mess around with though. There's a lot of contraptions and devices and things to get... Alright, he's smiling. He should have sorted that out. What's <laughs> I your think view that, on that, Laura? Yeah. You, well, you know, it was funny because I was at the game yesterday right. and we were sat in the front row of the stand. So the ref referee's assistant was right in front of us. He gave us a running commentary. Did he? It, it was great. You could hear this going We on could hear it. We were that close because he was talking to the ref. Yes. Obviously in that ball not going out, but it was good. Yeah. It was good. It was like I'd, ne well, I'd never heard it before because normally it's either sitting in the box, sitting in the direct, wherever. And it, it was, oh, it was, I can't remember his name. Sorry about that. that was first half. It was good. How interesting. Yeah. Really informative. Yeah, to very that informative. Going on. Very, there all you go. the time. Never stopped. Yeah. Have I been saying now for like the last five years plus, that in rugby union, we can listen into the referee, yeah. we hear the quality of what's going off, we're hearing talk to the players. Why don't we do that? That's on, interesting. On football? The only problem is, is the players. The swear up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we've got to live in a real world. Well, I yeah, think. absolutely. I, I think yeah. that if players are aware, then hopefully they'll It only lasts one about. week if they all yeah. be effing and yeah. jeffing, but it only lasts yeah. one week, won't it? Right, okay, Mo moving on rapidly from uh, industrial language. Uh, the North London derby, yeah, that will kick off part two. Fair few talking points in the championship as well. Just to conclude the part one, a few games where you know that went well for referees. I think Martin Atkinson, as you'd expect, now off the FIFA uh, panel, so getting lower profile games. Burnley two, Swansea nil. Mike Jones, Liverpool three, Southampton nil. Liverpool in bang bang on form now. Mm -hmm. Laura, does yeah, that good. surprise you? No, 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 because no, attacking wise, they're as good as anyone. Yeah, and when they play the weaker teams, if they score early, it's good night, Lucy. Could have been more than three. Yeah. And West Brom nil, Chelsea four, which could have been more than four. Fabri Fabregas uh, caution for simulation in that game. Uh, so it was good, it's good when referees do sort of react. Well, this, is, this uh, again throws up the other dilemma. John Moss, by the way, was the referee. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was right to caution. But mm. see, what happens is he's got a yellow card, that's it. Mm. If you go through the panel, you get a two match or three match suspension. Yeah. So therefore, where the FA are inconsistent is to say, right, anybody that gets a yellow card for simulation or it's missed, 
yeah. and viewed as a yellow card. They're getting off lightly on the yeah. field. Should, well, should serve the same punishment. Remember yeah. the lad who played for Huddersfield at Burnley? Yes, uh, Van La Parra, wasn't it? Van was La Parra. Yeah. And Sean Dice made a really good comment, which is if he gets done, yeah. he said, what's our benefit? Correct, yes. Well, that's yeah. really good. I thought it was very good, actually. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to be fair. So reacting at the time helps the opponents, yeah. you know, with a yellow card, which might become a red later on. But it's not really the player himself gets off away with it, really. So mm. it's difficult to be fair. It's a great talking point. Let's hope it doesn't recur because we just if the cheating didn't take place, we wouldn't be talking about it, would we? So yeah. there you are. Uh, do rejoin us with Lauro and with uh, Keith Hackett for Ref Show Part 2. See you then. <laughs>